Hi everyone, Lewis here. I've got a little review for you of a film which came out today, which I'm not going to spoil, even though somebody spoiled some bits of it for me a few weeks ago, which I'm not very happy about. If you go to a preview screen of a film, don't post stuff from it, because no one's had a chance to see it yet, unless they also went to a preview screen. Anyway, I saw Dungeons & Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves. Honor Amongst? Among? Amongst. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, that's weird, I hadn't thought about that. What is it? Uh, but yeah, it's the new Dungeons & Dragons film. Uh which is a thing that's existed for a long, long time. I'm sure you're aware. Um, it's a tabletop role-playing game. And um, I've never played it personally, but I've played a lot of the offshoots and that, you know, like the kind of the Warhammer stuff and Hero Quest and things like that. Um, and the computer games like Baldur's Gate and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm, I'm only really vaguely familiar with it. I think um, my only other experience with it is the cartoon series from the 90s, which I used to watch a fair bit. And this, the good thing about Dungeons and Dragons, I think, if you're going to adapt it, is that you can pretty much do whatever with it because you know it's a role-playing game where people playing it make up their own stories and that kind of thing. So you've got you know a rough overview of the world, and then you can just kind of go go with it really. And one thing I didn't think about while I was watching this film because I've never played the actual game, I was thinking like I don't know, I didn't think about it till afterwards. But how does this film feel like playing a game? And I didn't think about it till after I watched the film, and I think. If I thought about that during the film, it might have affected my opinion of it. Because overall, I was I was looking forward to this. I remember first hearing about it, and I wasn't too fussed. But then I saw the trailer, and I liked the cast. And the trailer had some funny moments, and just looked pretty pretty good. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll check this out, sure. And I think um, I'd heard a few good things about it. I was trying to avoid hearing things before I see a film, because I don't want my opinion to be kind of affected in any way you know i don't want to come in with like too high expectations because then i might be disappointed although and sometimes you know i can be put off seeing a film if i hear bad things about it and i find sometimes you can just go in i mean overall you know opinions are opinions but i find sometimes it can affect your enjoyment if you have too much of a preconceived notion about it so i don't like hearing things before i watch it um i know it's ironic me doing that whilst doing a non-spoiler review where people might watch to see if they'd be interested in watching it but it is what it is i just like talking about stuff um, but yeah, I think overall I was okay with it as a film. Like, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I don't mean like, oh, I'll change this, this and this. Because I don't think there was anything wrong with it. I feel like it was exactly what it was meant to be. And I think the target audience is probably a bit of a younger audience. And also people who are fans of the game as well, I would assume. And if if those separate groups of people are happy, then that's cool, you know. Um, but for me, I just kind of, I don't know, it didn't quite click with me what I thought it would and again I really like the cast um, you know Chris Pine I really like I don't know why Chris Pine isn't a bigger deal like I know he's a successful actor and he's been in some big stuff but I feel like he should be like a top draw leading man I don't know why he is maybe why he isn't maybe he just maybe he just doesn't want to maybe he's happy doing what he's doing which is fair enough and I really like Michelle Rodriguez I always have I always think she, again she's another one who should be should be a bigger deal but yeah she's always really solid and Hugh Grant is in it and Hugh Grant's really good in this he's, he's, he's kind of made his career about playing just weird weird you know scoundrels which is weird little guys um now but uh but yeah so overall i, I um i enjoyed that side of it um uh, i'd say humor wise it was pretty well balanced you know some funny bits but i feel like the trailer did show a lot of the funny bits but also some of the jokes in it were quite different to what they were in the trailer they were like cut differently or edited differently and like some of the punchlines of the jokes in the trailer weren't the same as they were in the film which i found quite interesting but some of them worked well as trailer jokes but were a bit more drawn out in the film itself um that's like the only minor criticism i have actually now and think about it is not enough dungeons or dragons you know there's a, there's a couple of dragons in there but not really you know for a film with dragons in the title i thought there'd be more dragons i know it's just the name of the game but still you know what i mean um yeah pretty nice action stuff um so i like the cast uh over you know so overall i think it's a good solid film but for me it was just missing that little something just to kind of really hook me into it but you know i wasn't i wasn't bored at any point i didn't i don't feel like it dragged on at all um even though it's over two hours it didn't you know i wasn't any point where i was like okay you know wrap this up now kind of thing but you know pretty i think i think overall i think the story didn't really hook me i wasn't really that interested in what they were trying to achieve but then thinking about it going back to being the game i guess when you play the game it's not so much about the objective of the story i suppose it might just be about the journey along the way and the fun you have so you know in that sense then yeah that's that's what it's achieved but um but yeah so i think i think it's pretty good um just for me i just think you know it didn't quite cook me the way i hoped it would 
so you know so for me personally i'd say it's just kind of okay you know but i say um i say for younger audiences it i think it's a 12a so kids around that age probably be fine with it. i think any younger i think there's a few bits that are quite jumpy maybe a little bit scary for younger kids not for me obviously um and there's there's a there's a few a few bad words in there more than i thought there would be there's no like f-bombs or anything but you can get away with quite a lot in a 12a now so i think if you're a parent thinking about taking your kids to see it then yeah um you know it's one of those things just to consider i think but i mean i don't care you do whatever you want um but yeah but I hope it I hope it does well because it's nice to see something that's just a bit kind of different. Like even though it's a pretty standard movie, it's just a property that we haven't really seen that much of in a movie, and it's more popular these days than it has been for a long time. Um, and it's nice just to have like a world uh, uh, being adapted into a film that I don't know about. You know, if, if it's like a Marvel film or a Star Wars or a DC or whatever, I kind of know every character really. Like you know, kind of go, oh, that's that character. I wonder how they're going to do this. But with stuff like this, you can just kind of go. Oh, this is a new character. I don't know. I wonder, wonder what they're going to be like. So, so yeah, I hope they make more of these, even if they don't directly continue this one. Even if they just have Dungeons and Dragons and it's just a different, like little crew each time. You know, it's they could build their own thing. So, I hope it does well. Um, but yeah, you can go see it if you want a fun little couple of hours at the movies. I saw it in IMAX as I put in the title of this, and uh, I think it was worth seeing in IMAX. It was pretty, uh, pretty enjoyable. But I, I see most things in IMAX if I can. I always enjoy that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, leave a like, and goodbye.